Hello and welcome to video number three. This is how to pinpoint opportunities. And the goal here is to help you use social media to pinpoint opportunities, mainly because if you're trying to manage your social media, then you definitely want to use tools that focus in on opportunities in the social realm. So we're gonna use social media to pinpoint Analyze your market, see how people feel about the market, the niche, the sub niche, whatever. And then that way we can figure out if they feel negatively towards it, positively towards it, or neutrally. So we're going to show you a specific tool that you can use. There are many, many different tools out there, many that are free, many that are paid. And fortunately, this tool is free but it's very, very powerful. So let me go ahead and show you the tool and show you how to use it. All right, so this tool is socialmention.com. That's socialmention.com. It's a real-time social media search and analysis tool. You can actually see the trends here. What's powerful about this is you can search for all different types of social media, or you can specify blogs, microblogs, bookmarks, images, videos or questions this right here in itself is super powerful because think about it if you're trying to promote a specific niche and you want to know if maybe a specific question or what kind of questions people have around that specific niche i mean think about that that in itself is powerful but let's keep it at all and let's say, for example, that I'm trying to promote a fitness product and I have a fitness blog. I've got fitness fan pages, fitness Twitter, stuff like that. So maybe I'll just type in P90X. If you're not familiar with P90X, it's basically a exercise program, a very intense one that I'm doing right now. But if you type a keyword in there and you click on search. The beauty of this is you can actually see the strength, the passion, the reach, and the sentiment. Now, when you highlight this with your mouse, you can actually see what strength means. Let me explain. Strength is the likelihood that your brand is being discussed in social media. Now, of course, that that is because I typed in P90X. So it is referring to P90X. If you have a brand, you might want to type in your brand to see what people feel about your brand. So 36% people are talking about P90X. So as you can see, it's a very simple calculation is used. Phrase mentions within the last 24 hours divided by the total possible mentions. So this is actually data that has been collected in the last 24 hours. And then of course we have passion. Passion is a measure of the likelihood that individuals talking about your brand will so repeatedly do so. So for example, if you have a small group of very passionate advocates who talk about your products or your brand all the time, you have a higher passion score. So what this means is that there are people out there that are talking about P90X on a consistent basis. They're not just talking about it once, they're talking about it over and over and over again. And then of course we have reach. Reach is the measure of the range of influence. It's the number of unique authors referencing your brand divided by the total number of mentions. And then of course sentiment is the ratio of the mentions that are generally positive to those that are generally negative. So it's 23 to one. Now what's cool about this is it tells you, okay, so for every mention, it's about one minute's average. Last mention about P90X was three minutes ago and there are 92 unique authors. Now, if you go down here, it says positive, neutral, negative. Fortunately, the sentiment 
or what people think about P90X according to the data that has been collected, there's not a lot of negative thoughts. There's a lot of positive thoughts, but there's more neutral than positive. So they don't think, eh, you know, they're not super, super, super passionate about it, but they are neutral about it. And so you can see related keywords related to these. So let's say, for example, I was promoting P90X in my social media site. Maybe I want to focus in on other things that are related to workout, delicious, maybe foods, health, fitness, Monday, and program. So just by looking at this tool, it should give you some ideas of different opportunities or even different other areas that you could go into in relation to P90X. So you these could give you ideas of the posts that you create, the Twitter tweets that you tweet, and stuff like that. And you can also see the top users or authors who frequently mention the search phrase. So these are opportunities in themselves. If you find somebody who talks about P90X a lot and is very, very passionate about it, you could click on them. And by clicking on them, you can kind of get an idea, a, a better idea about that user in terms of their strength, passion, and reach. So you can also analyze specific users and also hashtags as well. So that's pretty powerful. Now, going back over to here, you can see hashtags and sources of other social media sites. And if you go over to here, you can see that you can actually get the CSV data. And that's really powerful that the fact that you can actually download the sentiment data. So if you want to download this for future reference, you can. You could also download the top keywords, the top users, and the top hashtags. Now, if I really want to get specific, let's say, for example, I'll just type in fitness or lose weight and click on search. And then I can click on Q&A or questions. Or going back, uh, P90X, I clicked on blogs and I can actually see here what people feel about it. And right here, you can actually see the mentions about P90X. So fun ways to fight the effects of a holiday feast. And these right here should just give you some ideas about posts, tweets, and more that you could create and surround around. So this really is just giving you an eye opener of the uh, what the market feels like, and what other people feel about that specific market. And that way you know and you have a better idea about if you move in that market, how will you succeed? So at this point, it's easy to pinpoint opportunities by using this free tool. In the next video, we're going to talk about how you can monitor these opportunities once you have figured out this is an area that you might want to go into or this is an area where you have some more ideas on other related posts or tweets that you can go into.